So in yesterday's video, we learned that ChatGPT is a large language model. But how is that different from just a regular language model? A Lockster took a good guess saying LLMs just use large data sets. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But I had to go down the rabbit hole and here's what I came up with. Tumbling down the rabbit hole. Hmm. So it's called large because it's made up of hundreds of trillions of parameters. So that means these models can do a lot of crazy things that regular LMs can't do. Same. So it can answer more complex questions, translate languages, and even write code. So that means it has a lot more capabilities. But I went down the rabbit hole, maybe I shouldn't have, and I needed to find out what exactly is a parameter. Don't do it. So when I asked ChatGPT, like, hey, what is a basic definition for parameters? It got complex. Started to drop down even more terms like weight and bias and all these different things. And you know what? I'm just going to make this very simple because I created an analogy for us. Interesting analogy, Sergeant. All right, so let's pretend we're using Google Maps and we're trying to find the best route how to get from home to work. We have route A, which has a lot of stoplights as well as potholes versus route B. Seems to be a little bit longer, but hey, has trees and even a deer. Look at that nature. So the first thing it's going to calculate is the weight, like meaning the important factors. We're talking about traffic, you know, how much time you're going to be spending on the road, the road quality, etc. We can also have bias, meaning like just preferences. It doesn't really make a difference. It's just what do you prefer? Do you want to see more nature? Do you want to stop less at the stop sign, etc. So the way I understand it is a parameter can be either a weight or a bias. In this analogy, Google Maps can recalculate the important factors, the traffic, the bias. It can tweak and learn on its own. However, with training, we can recalculate everything based on what other people preferred. So it can easily then switch more about the weight, the bias, based on just looking at how people are taking their routes and what seems to be the driving factor and why. And make sure to follow so we can learn more about AI together.